Hello folks, my name is Paul Trench and today we're back, we're back where we started off. So, let's have a look at our new episode. View this episode, yes please. Yeah. Gunshots. Oh no, it's the windmill. <laughs> Three dead scouts. Miss Melkiot. There's no other sign of the enemy. Good. Now, go keep watch and stay alert. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what should we do with the bodies, ma'am? We'll bury them. So it's begun. I'll do whatever it takes to protect the people of this town. I'll do it. Even going to war, I'll do it. You don't really understand. Going to war is the most horrible thing ever. What are those? Seeds from the lion's paw. It blooms white, small, simple, and strong. I want to be able to remember, once the war is over, that it wasn't all just people killing people that even in war there was also new life on the 15th day of the third month of the year 1935 the empire began its assault in earnest a formal declaration of war was made upon Gallia Though it was only a small front in a massive continental assault, what followed would prove that a tiny nation could best a military giant. These events would tell a story of tragedy hidden in the mists of time. A story of courage and of trust, of persecution and hate. And of love blooming even through the flames of war. What follows is a record of this conflict and of those who fought, lived, and died. Funny thing is, if it was 1939, in our time period, that would be known as World War II. Chapter 1 In Defense of Bruel. A new episode has been added. It's quite interesting. It's obviously an, alt it's an alternative dimension world. Like, to me, it has a sort of a World War II kind of feeling. You know, you got. An evil empire, and then you have a good empire. You can also say that the evil empire is like the Third Reich, the Nazis of World War Two. But in this alternate, I guess you could say it's a Second World War. It's an evil empire, and you know it's a kind of a different futuristic perspective of a war. And while the good empire, we can easily identify as the Allies, you know, the British. The Americans, the Russians, and you know the Australians, and so on and so forth. And you've got these small countries that don't want to get involved at all, or probably either the neutral countries, or ones that have no choice but to fight and hoping to have backup from the Allies. But we all knew what happened in World War Two. The Allies won. I have a feeling in this game that the good Empire will win, and this evil one will get crushed. Interesting how history. Those things. Indeed, it does. <sighs> Don't be so comfortable, young man. Seeing that old mill spinning again? Really makes it feel like home sweet home. Hmm. <laughs> I hear that. It really is one of the most beautiful things about this town. 
old man. <laughs> Why do I get a feeling it could get shot at? can't be far behind. I thank you for your help. Goodbye, and take care. <laughs> yeah. The war's not gonna last, but yet again, it's on its way. Scary as it is. How's the packing coming along, East? Almost done. I only need to take the everyday basics. Well, the Empire's got to be close by. Let's hit the road by sundown. Martha, look! Wilkes is here! Oh! <laughs> Welcome back, Welkies! <laughs> You're still calling me that? Martha, I'm 22 years old. And more important, you shouldn't be running around. Aren't you due any day now? Ah, oh, a light jog won't hurt the little spud. <laughs> I should know. I've already had four of them. <laughs> Whoa. Hello there. Um, it, is Welkin in? Oh, hello, Alicia. What brings you here? I just wanted to apologize. For before. Um, here. This is for you. Oh, food. Really? These are for me? Quite shocking. I work at the bakery. Well, I did until the war started anyway. It's where I live, too. Oh, that's good. That's preserved bread, so it's pretty hard. Heat it up before you eat it, all right? I baked it myself, so the flavor's guaranteed. Best you ever had. Wow, so good baker and a soldier. Thanks. Uh, do you want to come in? Probably busy with the fighting. They'll be coming. Even though it's quite relaxing. Arrested and shot at? <laughs> You've had a busy day of it, haven't you, Welkies? And what a lovely lady you are for all that adventuring. Good job, Welkies. <laughs> what? Wait, no, it's not like that. Alicia just saved my skin, that's all. Yeah. He's right, we just met. I'm not his girlfriend, just his hero. <laughs> Although I'm really hoping to be his friend. Oh, well I'm sure you will. Be good to my Welkies here, won't you? Okay, seriously Martha, enough with the Welkies already. <laughs> That's a lovely portrait. Is that General Gunther? Yep. It was taken before I was born. But that's Dad. That's Dad? You're a lucky guy. Ah. And who's that with him, there? My father, Tamer. He was an engineer. The General's tank was his creation. Wow. Wait a minute. But I thought the General was your dad. My birth parents died when I was a baby. The general was kind enough to take me in as his own after that. Aww. Yeah. We're not related by blood, but she's definitely my little sister. Huh. Sorry, was that question too personal? Probably not. No, I don't mind at all. I was blessed with two wonderful fathers. <laughs> yeah. I guess you were, huh? Yeah, quite lucky, actually. Oh, is that really the time? I've got to get going. Why don't you see her off, Welks? I can take care of the rest of this on my own. All right, I will. I'll be right back. And then be going off to kill him. See you later, Isara. Safe travels. I will do. Don't have to worry. Interesting. A new episode has been added. Jeez, at this rate, I think we'll just be watching. I guess one more wouldn't hurt, then we can stop. Wow, look at this. 
Brule is really becoming a ghost town. They've been leaving for a while. Just about everyone is evacuated by now. You can't blame them. Tensions are rising with the Empire. We'll survive. The Town Watch will guard and protect the home front. Everyone will come back someday. They'll come back when it's safe again, right? Mm -hmm. So, Welkin, I'm curious. Are you gonna join the army like your father? Hmm. I don't think that's for me. What I'd really like to do is be a teacher. Good idea. Huh. A teacher? Yeah. Animals and insects, flowers and plants, they've always been my passion. I've learned a lot from nature. You see, my dad, he protected this country as a general, but it's just that I, I want to give back in my own way, my own way. You know what I mean? I think I do. You're sure about it? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's deep in your own way. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm? Ah! Huh. Tanks. What was that? That sound. Looks like we've got our artillery, folks. God damn it. Move it. Come on, let's go. Bastards. They're shooting innocent civilians. Let's kick their ass. I told you that place was gonna get gonna get shot. I don't believe it. The mill. Miss Melchior, the Imperials are attacking. There's a squad of them in town right now. Get all the town watch together, now. We've got to fend them off. They must be at Mill Plaza. I'll help. Thanks, Welkin. Now move out. Stay low. Good grief. Goddamn bastards. Destroying my property. How dare they. Any case, though, folks, we have to stop there. Will we defend this town? Or will we have to fall back like back in France? Find out next time. And let's hope we get a tank. Blow them all up. <laughs>